Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas, where I'm delighted to be joined by Abby Mudagiri, Global Vice President, Technology Partnerships for Data IQ. Abby, such a pleasure to sit down with you here today. Ryan, thanks for having us. Looking forward to it. Data IQ has pioneered everyday AI, helping everyone in an organization from technical teams to business leaders use data to make better decisions and drive business value on a daily basis. And the time for AI implementation is now. What trends are you noticing across your ecosystem of clients? Yeah, absolutely. Again, thanks for, uh, thanks for having us. Looking forward to this conversation. What we're seeing, especially uh, with Gen AI now, uh, you know, becoming a common household name, is AI has become a C-suite priority. Uh, it's across CIOs, it's across CDOs and CEOs. And the fear is they don't want to be left behind. Right. So they want to have an AI strategy. And that AI strategy is going to be important for them to stay relevant and stay competitive. So what that means in reality is we're seeing not just experimentation, but we're seeing proof of concepts moving into production, moving into scale. We're seeing more users come onto platforms and then collaborate across teams, both the, the data scientists as well as the non-coders, the traditional, you know, the business analysts and the line of business users. So we're seeing a lot of that. And uh, even sort of some of the incremental adoption of AI is pr providing sort of magnitudes of change within, within organizations. So that's what we're seeing on the ground. Great perspective, thank you so much. Your customers trust you because you understand and address the complexities of their organizations in systemizing the use of data in AI. How is your data strategy evolving to meet their changing needs? Yeah, that's a great question. So yeah, look, when we look at the stack of what every big organization today needs to consider, they need four things, right? And that's where we're continuing to optimize and build out the data IQ capabilities. One, they need a user strategy. Without a user strategy, you know, because you have so many users coming onto the platform today uh, with Gen AI and you know prompt engineering and, and varieties of different things, which is a good problem to have, but they need a need a user strategy. Right. More users, they need a data strategy, right? And as your former CEO always evangelized, you don't have an AI strategy without a data strategy. So they need a data strategy, you need more data to feed this beast, which is the LLMs and prompts and engineering and all that. So user strategy, data strategy. Third, more users, more data equals governance. So they need a governance strategy, right? So that's the third pillar. And fourth is the technology optionality really around the LLM. So that's what we're seeing. So if you think of that last pillar, governance is becoming a super critical uh, moment for companies to say, okay, I'm getting more users, more platforms, uh, rather more data and more prompt engineering. How do I secure my environment? So that's where we sort of built out uh, what we call as the LLM mesh over 18 months ago, right? And so we provided the capability to an organization to experiment with LLMs in their own environment, on their data, on Snowflake, and then put that into production in a safe governed manner. I'm so glad you mentioned governance. Yeah. How relevant is security and compliance for your customers? And how does the Snowflake partnership ensure data security and compliance, particularly with sensitive data used in AI models? Absolutely. Look, governance is a key thing now, right? Again, with more users and, and more data, you have to make sure that you're in a secure environment. There's a lot of industry compliance that's needed today, regulatory compliance, if you think of like the EU AI Readiness Act. It's a lot of things that every C-suite and every organization needs to think about to you know, make this sort of embed AI into the fabric of, of an organization. So when we think about um, sort of the governance capabilities, we have to make sure that we are providing a safe environment uh, you know, with, with users entering prompts. We want to make sure that certain groups of users that have access to enter those prompts on those LLMs have a secure way to do it. And ones that are not allowed to do it, you know, we sort of pull that back. So again, within the LLM mesh framework, what we've done is introduce what we call as our guard services, right? So one is cost guard. So monitor your costs when it comes to LLMs because then it can go rampant between you know what you budgeted for and what your spend actually is. Go track that. We also have the safeguard, which is again governance, safety, regulatory compliance built into the fabric of, of the platform. And then the last is quality guard, right? As an organization, like there's a new LLM coming out every single day, a more optimized version of it coming the very next day, right? So you want to make sure that there's, you know what the quality of the LLM is. And look, at the end of the day, 
the customer makes the choice in terms of what's the best LLM for the task at hand. So that's kind of how we built it out and just given the power in the hands of the customer. Great to hear, great perspective. How does the AI Data Cloud's ease of use deliver insights at scale for Dataiku? Yeah, look, I think, again, this has been a great partnership that we built over four years and it continues to you know, scale and you know, the best, as we always say, the best is yet to come with the Snowflake Dataiku partnership. Uh, what we've always done at the core of this is as a data science company, as the everyday AI company, we have wanted, we provided the capability to wherever the customer's data sits, right? So we want to make sure that we take advantage of some of your native services like Cortex AI, like Snowfark, Snowpark Container Services. And when uh, Snowpark Container Services came out, uh, I think, I believe it was last year at Summit, uh, I've done many summits, and uh, I can never keep track of it, but uh, when you, you announced that, I think one use case particularly stood out to us is you know, deploying an AI model as a container within Snowfall Container Services to run inference, right? So with data IQs, now API connectivity and, and container support, we're able to do that. So again, look, we don't want the customer to pull their data out of their environment. Keep the data where it is in a safe, controlled manner. Go do what you need to do and then get to business insights pretty quickly. So we're leveraging a lot, I mean, look, our integrations run super deep. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't count them today because that's how deep we've gone. We push all of our visual and uh, non-visual recipes, the SQL recipes into Snowflake, right? So customer doesn't need to leave the Snowflake environment to harness both the power of the Snowflake platform as well as data IQ, wherever their data sits. Great to hear, always putting the customer first. The largest companies in the world use Data IQ for a reason. Your platform helps them unlock value in their data with Gen AI and other AI use cases. Can you share an example of how a customer used Snowflake and Data IQ together? Absolutely. Look, we have hundreds of customers in common that we've, you know, uh, both uh, you know gone after and expanded and made them successful across industries. By the way, across healthcare, uh, across manufacturing, retail, CPG, and and financial services. One that stands out is a marketing optimization platform named System One, right? Uh, great, great success story there. So if you think of what they do is they build marketing campaigns and uh, they had two sets of users. They have the data scientists and uh, you know, the, the traditional marketeers. The marketeers put the campaigns together, but these two teams weren't really collaborating. So for them to assemble a campaign and, and you know, put it out, let's call it production, used to take months, right? So long story short, they uh, brought, they essentially landed on Snowflake for their data strategy. Uh, so they consolidated all of that and you know, they started using Snowflake. With Data IQ on top of Snowflake, we've helped them you know, drive value doing a couple of things. So that campaign uh, that used to take over 10 days uh, with a three person team, now can be done in 10 minutes. I love it. Right? So they can launch 100 plus campaigns in 10 minutes without sort of that long you know, uh, approval cycle and, and what have you. And then it's also enabled this collaboration between the data scientists and, and the everyday users or the everyday AI. And you know, that's, that's really great to see because we've helped the customer sort of shorten the cycle, drive business value. And unlocking new opportunities they may unlocking not even you. absolutely know. yep absolutely as it relates to what's next what future innovations can we expect from yep. this collaboration to expand AI democratization and what's next for data IQ and snowflake uh, look uh, you know that's a conversation we have literally every single day within the organization right from our co-founders CTO CEOs to our product teams and our go-to-market teams and what else can we be doing with snowflake to scale this out? Uh, because that's how deep the relationship is, the partnership, both in the go-to-market and the product teams. So look, one thing we are uh, doing jointly is enabling our own sales organization to take advantage of the power of the partnership that we've built. Second, uh, bringing awareness to more customers on how they can leverage their both their Snowflake investment and data IQ on top of Snowflake to go drive real business value, whether it be you know via LLMs or via Cortex or whatever else. I think the technology matters little uh, it, it's important, don't get me wrong, but how do we go drive business value, right? So that's kind of what we're focused on. The, the other thing is we are looking forward, uh, actively working on being available and transactable on the Snowflake marketplace. And again, look, that's where we're getting customer input 
and prioritizing it. We have multiple customers coming to us and say, hey, we want to be able to you know, buy data IQ through the Snowflake marketplace. So we're looking forward to getting that launched in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, and then we're going to also look at some of the more you know, traditional uh, machine learning, uh, Gen AI workloads and how we continue to collaborate uh, to benefit customers. Well, I'm excited to see what comes Absolutely. next. Yeah. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure sitting down with yeah. Daikoo. Ryan, thank you so much. Again, thanks to the Snowflake team. This has been a wonderful partnership. Again, the best is yet to come and, and let's go win and make customers successful. I love that. And with that, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.